In this problem, we'll graph a quadratic function by finding the vertex and the intercepts. Let's look at our helpful hint. When the function is written in f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c form, we can find the vertex by using x equals negative b over 2a to find the x value of the vertex. We can solve for the intercepts using the substitutions x equals 0 and f of x equals 0 to find the unknown coordinates. And if a is less than 0, the graph is a parabola opening downward. So here's our quadratic function that we want to graph, f of x equals negative x squared minus 6x minus 5. Notice that it's in the form that the hint suggested. When the function is written in this form, we can find the vertex and the intercepts pretty easily. First we'll find the vertex and the x value of the vertex our hint told us is negative b over 2a. And in this case, b is negative 6, so up here we'll have a positive 6. 2 times a, here a is negative 1, so 2 times negative 1, get negative 2. So our x-coordinate of the vertex is negative 3. To find the y value of the vertex, we need to evaluate the function for this x value. In other words, find f of negative 3. So that means take negative 3, put it in for each x in the function. So our first term, negative, negative 3 squared minus 6 times negative 3, minus 5. And simplifying this, we'll get negative 3 squared is 9, and we've got this negative in front of it, so negative 9. Negative 6 times negative 3 is positive 18, and minus 5. Negative 9 plus 18 is 9, minus 5 is 4. So we have our x value of the vertex, our y value of the vertex. So 3, negative 3, 4 is our vertex. Now we'll find the x and y intercepts. For the x intercept, we let y equal 0. Remember, y is the same as f of x. So I'm putting a 0 in for the left side of the equation. So I have 0 equals negative x squared minus 6x minus 5. Now I've got a quadratic equation to solve. First, I'm going to divide each side by negative 1, so I have all positives on my right, and I'll be able to factor that more easily. Dividing by negative 1, I still have 0 here, and all my signs on the right change to positive. Now, if I factor this, it factors to x plus 1 times x plus 5. And if I set each of those factors equal to 0 and solve those, I get x is negative 1 or x is negative 5. So I have two x-intercepts. And the last thing to do is find the y-intercept. And we do that by finding, or by letting, x equal 0. And we can see pretty easily, if we let x be 0, we get 0 minus 0 and then minus 5. So letting x be 0, we find that the value of the function, or the y value, is negative 5. So there's our y-intercept. Now we'll construct the graph. We just found the vertex and the intercepts for our quadratic function, 
and now we're going to graph it. We have a vertex of negative 3, 4. So from the origin, I go left 3 and up 4 to find the vertex. And we have two x-intercepts. I've written them in, as ordered pairs. The first one is negative 1, 0, which is there. And the second one at negative 5, 0. And our y-intercept is 0, negative 5. So on the y-axis, the parabola will cross right there. Now remember, when we graph a quadratic function, we get a U-shape. And this happens to be a U-shape opening downward. So there is the graph of our quadratic function. Now in the hint, it told us when the function is written in f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c form, we can find the vertex by using negative b over 2a for the x-coordinate of the vertex. Then we can find our intercepts by letting x be 0 and f of x be 0. And then we want to look at the value of a. In this case, a was negative 1, which is less than 0, and that tells us that our parabola will open downward.